New musky waters. How do you break down new musky waters? It's a question that I get asked all the time at sports shows, at seminars, um, on you know social media stuff like that. So today we're gonna kind of go through a few steps, and I'm going to a brand new lake that I've never ever fished before. I heard there's muskies in here, um, and I kind of had the afternoon of nothing to do. So we're gonna go check out this lake. I'm gonna show you guys what I would do personally to help break down a new body water, and hopefully put a fish in the bag for you guys tonight. All right, we are on the water. First impressions, uh, water looks pretty clear. I don't know if you guys can see, but a lot of weeds. Um, I've already seen two musky boats and I'm just at the launch. So there's really not much space. The lake's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. But biggest thing when fishing new water is definitely your electronics. So I'm gonna get these birds fired up, get auto chart running and go from there. First things first, I fire up these two birds. So I'm gonna run side imaging on my top graph and then I'm gonna run auto chart live on my bottom one. And what auto chart live is, is it allows you to make a new map of the lake. There's a, a chip, actually, I have my chip in here, um, a chip that allows you to make your own map of the lake. You need this to make your own map. So we're gonna start doing that right away. All right, so here we can see, I just launched the boat. I just came offshore a little ways. And you can see this this lake dropped right away into 40 feet of water. Surface temp breeds 79. I know it's really not that warm. My transducer's probably still cooling off from the from the drive over here. We're not even into July yet, so surface temp's really hot just because it's 86 degrees today. But I think the fish are going to be plenty safe. Um, it's not a sustained water temperature. So, like I said, we're going to get auto chart live rolling here. If I can zoom in, uh, we're going to go hit menu twice. Go to the hummingbird options, auto chart over record on so what this is now going to do is make my own custom map of this lake so it's going to record off my 2d sonar that i have up here um, and instantly make a new map down here and i'll show you guys how cool this is so i switched up to side imaging here that is obviously my most important tool i'll be able to see weed lines i've got it set to 120 feet off each side i'll probably bring that in a little bit just because we're gonna be fishing shallow. Generally, I like to run it about 100. All right, so this is gonna show consistently in 37 feet. And once we hit a break line here, once we start to come up, you'll see the chip. It's gonna start making its own break line. So here's your first break line, 37. Now we're getting into 35, 33, 32. And here we're gonna to start to come up really fast. You can see we're starting to come up on our side imaging. Same thing here, we're making completely brand new map of this lake okay and it once you fish around this lake once or twice you'll have the whole entire thing mapped out and it just helps you see the structure that much more clearly you're not trying to lay down waypoints where there's points um, it just shows you everything at once and this edge is incredible so we're in 17 feet and there's lilies right there so that's pretty amazing you can see the weed edge right here and now i'm right up on top of it three feet of water so this edge is really, really defined, really, really sharp. You can see how tight the contour lines are right there. So there are a bunch of boats out here, like I said. There's three boats and one kayak on the whole entire lake, and they're all musky fishing. For a little bit, just kind of getting a lay for the lake. And check this out. I actually just made a turn. I knew this weed bed was coming, but if you look at this, okay, there's a big tree or something that's sunk in here. And if you look at this mark, I actually drove right over top of it. We'll zoom in here. To me, this looks like either a big pike or a muskie. You can almost see the larger tail here in the back. Um, and then you've got your shadow here, obviously. So this is your actual fish, and then this is the shadow cast. So the distance between this mark and this mark is how far the fish is off the bottom. But that's kind of cool. That gives me uh, some hope besides the four other boats that are fishing here <laughs> that there's actually muskies here. But that's really cool. Uh, that I think is a muskie on side imaging. So that fish is probably, that was about 13, 13, 14 feet down. It was right off this point. So that fish is down a little bit. So we might have to fish rubber or fish a little deeper.
Oh, just had my first fall of the night. Took about 30 minutes, and apparently there's tigers in here too. I didn't know that, but that was about a 35 to 36 inch tiger. Came in on a red October tube. Everybody here is fishing bucktails, like so. I want to do something a little bit different. Um, throwing a tube, ripping rubber, super good. Uh, as far as the setup here, I've got my 130 pound 49 strand wire. Um, this is a really flexible wire, really nice for for fishing tubes and eliminates any bite offs you'd ever have with fluorocarbon. And then for mainline, this is 100 pound Seaguar Threadlock braid. Fishing it on a 10 foot extra heavy Thorn Brothers rod with an 8 to 1 Daiwa Lexa HD 400. So really cool first action of the night. And yeah, that didn't take long. That was really cool. show you guys this fish on side imaging. That was really cool. That one looked like he'd been caught before. It looked like his mouth was a little beat up, but I'm going to show you guys here the fish on side imaging. Alright, so if you look here, you can see the fish. Okay, there's the fish itself. This little mark here is actually my tube. In front of the fish and here's the shadow from the fish so you can see how far off the bottom that fish really was i was in 20 feet of water at the time you can kind of see the edge of this weed line or grass is right there um, but just making my way around the lake honestly this has been really cool uh, if you look at the at the auto chart i haven't spent you know i guess i've been here for an hour and a half and you can see how much of this lake i've already charted it's pretty awesome so Auto chart live, huge, huge feature to have. Hummingbird uh, mega imaging, obviously super important. And wow, that was uh, that was really cool. That is what a side imaging fall looks like. I hope I wasn't in the way of the camera, but uh, that one just waked up and just nipped the back of it. I had to set, I felt weight. I just swung and she just wasn't there. Just must have barely grabbed it. Even that was just on a small Senate pacemaker here. And the one cool thing about this bait is that this, this rear hook is so far back. So that really helps generally with bites like that one there that those fish are really towards the rear end of the bait. but. 
man, I don't know what happened. It was really cool. I seen that weight come up and I just took the rod and I just I swung it a little bit to the one side just to get a little bit of change of direction out of that bait and fish came up behind it. But man, what a bummer. I just put this bait on. I don't know. I've probably made 20 casts with it. Um, since we're getting some low light here, I went to top water because I haven't seen anyone throw top water either. So everybody's throwing blades. Um, and I've seen one guy, I think, throwing a suic. So I'm just trying to do something different. Sometimes when you come to a new lake, you kind of have a clear mindset of what you want to try versus, you know, when you go to your one favorite lake, you always have that bait that works for you. So that's the advantage of fishing a new body of water as well. So, wow, that was really cool. Well guys, I just wanted to shoot a quick little wrap up in case we do lose light. I'm going to keep fishing. So hopefully I'll show you guys here fishing a bit, but just wanted to kind of touch again, like this was really, really cool for me. I guess I've been really stuck in the root of what I do as far as Green Bay and Lake of the Woods. And with this COVID stuff and everything happening, I'm gonna be able to do a lot of other cool stuff and some different bodies of water and kind of do some different stuff. So really looking forward to that, but I thought this was a really good topic. I don't normally post videos with no fish in them. Hopefully that's gonna change here in a little bit, but I thought we hit some really good topics and obviously we had a lot of action. Um, seeing the three fish and having the one bite and then the one miss was was really cool. And to come out here on just a small random lake and, and break it down was was awesome. And again, guys, it's it's all electronics. That's literally what I relied on today. I've almost got the whole entire lake auto charted. Um, and then the side imaging just showed me where I needed to be. But a lot of my fishing too was deep. Um, just the way this lake laid out, it was really flat and then there's really sharp like edge. And a lot of times the boat was in 20 to 25 feet of water. So why I went with the tube um, to start is I knew I could keep that bait above the, you know, those, those weed tops real shallow and then I could fall off that edge and I could really start to hit you know, that edge going down. So I wanted to cover more of the water column than what everyone else was doing, throwing bucktails and only covering those two, three feet top of the water column. And then when it got to be low light, you, you can never go wrong with top water and the bite I did get was actually like up on the flat um, coming over to the top of, I think it was milfoil. Um, but really, really cool outing. It was, it was cool. It was fun. It was different for me. Uh, pretty exciting. I mean, the fish weren't giant by any means. I don't think, um, I didn't really see the one that I lost, but who cares? It's just fun. It's exciting. They're muskies. Any, anytime you can see a muskie or have a muskie bite, it's a good day on the water. So hopefully you guys learned something. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Because like I say, there's a lot of information on this channel and there's gonna be a lot more new information that we haven't really covered coming up. Um, just because I'm going to be doing so much different stuff. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next one.